Hello everyone, and welcome back to another part of Tales of Berseria. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, I had something to eat, so I might sound like I have a frog in my throat. So, <laughs> in case you were wondering. But anyways, oh, cutsy. I thought you'd be long gone. I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. And Lafayette? He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you, you'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. Oh no, I'm so afraid. Do you plan on fighting alone? I can handle myself. I suppose that's a yes. Well. Not like we're going to lose anyway. We're too good at this game. That, that, that would be impossible. I see you're not using Lafisa to help you fight. Of course. This duel is me versus you. <laughs> I'd better not hear any excuses after your defeat then. Here it comes. Got it. 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 This is just going to be the fight. Until it's over. <laughs> or so I thought. Oh. I was going to dodge. Enough. We're done here. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. <laughs> Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding by the same terms. Had you won, you'd have killed me. True, but a duel is a duel. The Abbey shaped you well. However. <laughs> Once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius' teachings? <gasps> what a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? Lafisette, are you feeling better now? Y yeah Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered then. She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's Lafayette's vessel. That's true. Enables break charge in battle after guarding a s for a set amount of time. Nice. Um, I'm changing this out. I don't 
like the look of it in the cutscene. Uh, I I think we'll just um we'll, we'll, we'll leave this. That's fine, I suppose. Oh my god. Uh, I, I don't remember <laughs> where we got that, but that is hilarious. I'm not going to wear that, though. No matter how funny it is. Could have just been spring then. I doubt that that was entirely the effect of the bond. A demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength. We need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. Unfortunate. It may not be so bad though. Because even now, like, she knows how wrong everyone else is. Or maybe she just doesn't want to see it. Who knows? But she has certainly seen some stuff. Um, what are you up to? Man, Artorius and Inominat. Either one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? Oui. You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... why I did that. To save you. 
I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ahaha! Ha. But an object misused is one thing, a person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. The Nominat's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me 10 gold. I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Inominat. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominat? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent from Isolt down in Southgand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Anyhow... <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Yeah, well... Combat boots decorated with fluorite. I don't know about that one. Mm. I don't really use sloppy set anyway, so we'll wait until everyone's in the party and we'll decide from there. Okay, whatever. Stop me from doing whatever I want, why don't you?
all the things. A damned demon watching over me. How could I have let this happen? I'm such a disgrace. to atone for this grave sin. This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. There she goes. This light, it's Melchior's communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find? My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malak and bring him to the capital then? With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so, but with me as his vessel, the Moloch may interfere. This Moloch may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Moloch could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. And they heard the whole thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's... That is so unfortunate for her. You're up. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Listen. Don't try anything like that again. Pain is... Pain is scary, right? I'm alright. No more running away. I'm Lafisen. It's good to finally meet you properly, Eleanor. Y yeah, likewise. Don't worry. If you try running, you won't get far. Once I've eaten your arms and legs. Right. I merely need you alive to act as his vessel. Nothing more. That won't be necessary. I swore an oath before our duel. An oath grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? In that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? Oh to my wipe gosh. Out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is Anoma not going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. Anominot's ritual is kept confidential even within the Abbey. 
All I know is that it involves Melchior. Then it looks like the only way we'll figure out Inominat's true nature is by deciphering Lafisette's book. We'll have to track down Mogilu's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to East Sultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've never seen a Moloch quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Lafayette. If she makes any strange moves, I want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath-bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. If you say so. Women? She's uh, right. Of oh, course God. Goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Oh, no. Well, I won't deny it. <laughs> okay, then. Um. Alright, let's see what this is about. Hmm. What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. Okay, all right. I totally. This is getting you. too real. Too Sounds real. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. Ah, crap. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy. And guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If oh my fill god. fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I've the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right. I'm not like that, though. Huh? Yes, some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do, and I for one despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate dishonesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy, then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. Some interesting dialogue. <laughs> oh. And what might you be? Everyone ready to play? No, I don't like this. Aizen's out of the team. This is a crime. He needs to be on the team. Oh, also. I want to check out the, uh... These other boots. Uh, yeah, that's better. Um, team composition. You. You want me in? Fine by me. I 
don't know what Eleanor is like. Rooker is kind of cool, but... I, I'd say let's bench him for... I'll follow your orders. For a little bit. Just to see what she's like. And if I don't like her, I'll just switch her out. Is just magnificent. I challenge you. Take that. Devour. Finish. Yeah, whatever that was. Got you. No escape. I'll I'll you. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat I don't quite know how his moves go. Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. Perfect mayhem. Who wants some next? If you want to live, get out of my way. You are going to be our mage, whether you like it or not. Lavi sets out of the party, so you have to make up for him. End of story. You better be ready. Devour! You won't get any pity or compassion from me. Okay, hold on. Wait, you had this the whole time. And I just didn't equip it on you. Ah, oh, well, I suppose that's... A marginal drop for something that isn't, or well, potentially isn't good. That's even better. Um, in this circumstance, that's worth it, I think. Well, some a slight increase. <laughs> oh, expedition, right? Oh, but that's. Scouch. Wonderful. Okay. Huh? This stone. It's... It's just a rock. Take it if you want. I think it's really rare. The way it sparkles. I think it might even be bright steel. Bright steel? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's actually a rare metal used to forge weapons and stuff. You don't find it just anywhere. If there's bright steel here... That means we must be in either Endgand or Islegand. Both are a long ways off from Midgand. I doubt the Abbey has many people stationed out here. 
that's our pirate! Arr! Here there be treasures shiny and sentries few! At the very least, this could mean we'll be left alone for a while. Nice find, Luffy said. Thanks! Now wash your hands. Okay... The only way to learn where we are is to find someone to ask, I guess. Hmm. What's eating you, Luffy said? If people say you can't judge women at face value, does that mean you can with men? Sure. Men are simple creatures. Men are simple. Oh! You talk like you're an expert in all things masculine. But you can only speak for your own family. As if you're one to judge. And I'm sure you've charmed a magnificent lord to be your lover. Sure. What does he look like? Is he tall? None of your business. Don't tell me. He was always on the other side of a swinging door, so you only saw his feet? <gasps> I see. What a lovely crush that must be. I read that story. It was a book called The Legs of a Man. Oh? I've never heard of it. I've read it too. It's a sad, bittersweet tale. But I enjoyed it quite a lot. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it. Maybe when I have some free time after killing Artorias. <sighs> <laughs> I just wanted to know if men could be judged at face value. There is no answer to your question. <laughs> it's not often you find bright steel above ground. I hear it's a lot of trouble to unearth, even in the regions it's normally found. Yeah. Mining for minerals takes a lot of specialized techniques and experience on the part of the prospector. They examine the soil, the water, the plants, and so on, where the same mineral was found before. Then search similar environments for the next big find. Sure, but it's not like they succeed every time. It's all a big gamble. Isn't there a simpler way? I read in a book once that you can use a pendulum to find water and metals underground. It's called dousing. What's dousing? You hang the pendulum so it's facing the ground. Then you chant the magic word, Magic Kazam! And wait to be amazed! The little bit of ore on its tip will sniff out buried treasure in underground lakes like a bloodhound on a prickle boar! You don't seriously believe this. Eh, it's just like fortune telling. You win some, you lose some. That's why they call it prospecting. So, if pendulums are used for fortune telling, why the hell is Zavid running around using them as weapons? He uses wind to control its trajectory. I think it's easier for him to manipulate pendulums in a fight than something like a whip or a rope. Oh, that makes sense now. That seems pretty clever. He's probably also doing it to make himself stronger, too. Malakim broadly fall into four elemental types. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Each strong or weak against the others. Wind beats Earth. Savid is a wind Malak. So when he obtains Earth element minerals, his own strength is boosted. I never realized Malakim could be so calculating. Then if pendulums react to a Moloch's powers, maybe they can actually do this dousing stuff like Magilu says. Yeah, it's worth taking that thing seriously. Zavid might like to joke around, but when it comes to fighting, he knows full well just what he's doing. He puts an awful lot of thought into that weapon of his, if you ask me. You don't? I spare all my thoughts for my sweetheart. Yeah, right. You just like to cause trouble without putting much thought into anything. Damn, that was... <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> I'm joking. Only a little bit. Uh, better run. This area is very pretty. Missed one. You there. Got a moment? Wow. Duh! Are you guys with the sword breaker? The what? 
Get, get away from me! I think you have the wrong idea. Alright? Real class act. Attacking as you apologize. You do very little damage, it seems. The range sucks, though. Goodbye. What? My sword! Please, mighty demon, I beg you! I'll do anything, just... Spare me! I only wanted to ask you something. You don't have to worry. This woman here is an exorcist. Huh? R right. I'm Eleanor, a Praetor exorcist. Please, remain calm and hear our questions. You do look like an exorcist, but... What are you doing with ruffians like these? Top secret Abbey business. That's all I can say. Now, can you tell us where we are? And are there any ports nearby? You don't know? You're on Cadnix Island in Islegand. The port is at the other end of that ravine. I'll send a Sylph Jade to the Von Altia. Thanks. One more question. Who's this sword breaker? Ah, he's a demon. Causes lots of trouble around these parts. He only attacks sword fighters, and he breaks their blades. He's even taken down a number of Praetors. Hence the name Swordbreaker. He wields a fine sword, clearly forged in a foreign land. I tried to find his lair to steal the weapon for myself. But that's when I was attacked. A foreign sword? I'd be careful if I were you. If he spots that sword on your back, <laughs> you'll be in a world of trouble. Sounds like a real nasty fellow. Well, he tries to pull anything on this demon, and he's in for one munchy, crunchy surprise. <laughs> you folks are all crazy. Either way, I'd say this is a blessing in disguise for you. You're lucky to still be alive. Take this chance to abandon your life of crime. <gasps> she said it so aggressive, yet her face... Didn't say as such. Let's find that port and meet up with our ship. You better be ready. Oh, good grief! I wanted to look at the dialogue, damn you! You just had to be in my way, did you? And now you're pain in the ass. Come on, Ray. out of here. Bamboo stack. Do that's up. Ballot. Uh, maybe this one. All right, now what's this about? Hmm. Can you read any of this old writing? No. I've studied many languages, but I've never seen script like this before. Can you read it, Eleanor? I've never come across this language either. Where did you find a rare tome like this? Um, well... It was a lucky find at the capital. What can I say? The kid loves to read. I was surprised to see how many Malakim like to read. Genfu does a lot of reading too. I didn't know that. It's true. I'm not sure what he's been reading though. 
Did someone call for me? Bienfu, do you like to read too? Oh, yes. Books are a treasure trove of knowledge. But I'm a greater Malakim, so the literature I enjoy might be a bit above your level, Lapiset. How to talk a human female into becoming your vessel. And physically escalating with cuties. <laughs> uh, physically escalating. Buddy. What does that mean? No, no, you don't worry about it. Know. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. I'm confiscating all of these. Yeah. And I have some questions. Bien Fu, you better be ready for a thorough interrogation. Bien! You look like you're having fun, Rokuro. Well, I'm a Yaksha. A Yaksha? A spirit of war? Yeah, a demon that lives for combat. But this sword breaker has cut down exorcists with its foreign blade. Aren't you scared? Of dying, you mean? Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. It's more that I'm afraid of not being alive. Huh? Fighting is my life. It's all I want to do. So I fight. That's what living means to me. Ah. <sighs> living only to kill. A demon is always going to be a demon. Well, if you're going to be blunt. <laughs> Take it all at face value, why don't you? Alright, what you got over here? Mind if I yoink this from you? Mm, I don't wanna... Is there something... Am I supposed to go over here first? Uh, I don't freaking know. This video is probably going to be an hour or so long, I would imagine. Because it's already like 40 minutes. Oh, it's a strong enemy. I'm interested. We will need to be extremely wary. <laughs> I don't care. The host is a counter too. My god. What the heck? Holy moly. Now, rise, arise, ascending, angel! What was that attack? Ah, that effort. Clairvoyance and tights. Shows the number of unopened treasure chests on the mini map. Ooh, that's helpful. Or, you know, there to make me anxious. A guardian that bears a sweet scent. Chocolate idol. This cosmetic. Well, hmm, doesn't seem to be, though I might have missed it. That was a scary fight. Oh boy. That one attack just like 
killed us. At least everyone wasn't in that, though. Ooh, safe spot. Should probably end here, then. This will come in handy soon. Or if not soon, later. But anyways, everyone, <laughs> if you all enjoyed this video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribing, and maybe comment down below with me. And as always, I hope you all have an amazing day. I will see you all again sometime soon. Until then. Goodbye for now.